Okay, this is a video as requested um, on the uh, hamradioforum.net. I'm going to be arranging a QSO with Keith G6MHU. And if you can see my mouse, the trace that will be uh, um, appear will appear. Keith will be here, and I'll be transmitting here. Okay, so I'm going to oh, enable TX. So I'm now calling CQ. I should have actually been a bit quicker than uh, I was there, but hopefully Keith will get the uh, the complete uh, signal. That whistling in the background is from my radio. I've got a monitor, so you can hear how it would sound if you were closer to the signal. Sorry about the wobbly picture, but um, I am trying to hold it and control uh, the computer at the same time. So on the first one I clicked CQ and then I will see if I get a reply back which should come right about here. And almost on Q I'll bring the phone in a bit closer. There is a trace just near the mouse. And hopefully that will be uh, Keith coming in nice and clearly. So the, the decode will happen in this window. At the moment we're still receiving it. The transmission will end at 48. I'll then have a few seconds to set it up to reply if it is Keith. If it's in red it'll be my call sign. So I double click here. It now has his call sign. I could have also clicked answer caller. That bleeping in the background is uh, JT alert which I've got it set up to respond to my call sign with three beeps. So I'm now transmitting. As you, um, there's the transmitted text in the middle with the, uh, the signal which is minus 13, the signal report. Apologies about the quality of this video. Uh, first one I've done for uh, um, this type of thing. And I've also got a lot of time in between to try and fill in. So there is a set order for uh, QSOs on JT65. Oh, I just got to make. I should now be seeing Keith come in in a few seconds. And uh, these are kind of structured, but there is a way of also sending free text up to 13 characters in the box above where, uh, where I've got my mouse. We're just going to, me and Keith are just going to do a straightforward QSO, nothing fancy on this, uh, it's over. At the top of the screen, his trace is coming in a lot clearer this time. Excuse me. <coughs> Now if it is Keith, again, I should see a second line appear in this box uh, once it's uh, got the 48 seconds and decoded. Yeah, so I can double click that and the, the next bit of text I send is RRR which means because I've CQ'd that I've got the uh, is call and the report. As you can see here, Keith has sent me minus 15 as a report. Okay, we've got 20 seconds more of transmission left. Sorry, uh, receive left. 
sorry, transmission left, and then uh, I'll put it into uh, the Sen 73 for the final QSO. I can set this up once my transmission is over, and it will uh, carry on once the next TX odd happened because I started on TX odd. You can see that. Keep coming through again. I'm not sure whether he's going to do free text this time or whether it's going to be the standard uh, 73. We'll find that in a minute. Just coming up uh, to the 48 and then it will decode just at the top where it says current operation receiving that will change to decoding pass and there he's told me he's on a long wire with 20 watts and 73 I'm just going to send the standard message back which is just here so his call sign, my call sign, and 73. And whilst that's going on, in this program I can log the QSO. Oh, the window's vanished. And it gives me a simple window to log the QSO. So I'm just going to do that while this is finishing. It's filled in all the boxes for me. So I log contact, close window and it saved it to a file on my hard drive. So a few more seconds and this QSO will be over. Now I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, I doubt there will be many more coming after this but uh, 73's.